What's up folks, it's Matt. Thank you for joining me on Mindset Tabletop. Today I want to talk to you about a critical term in board gaming. The term is fiddly. Fiddly is used to describe any tabletop game that requires you to use your hands a lot. You push around cubes, you shuffle cards, you draw chips from a bag, etc. Terraforming Mars was my first foray into engine building. It's a little bit heavy to be your first engine building game, but I saw a video on it. I was interested in it and kind of bought it on a whim one day. Took it home, fell in love with it immediately. Loved the fact that the solo mode was the same as the regular game and everything like that. But most of all, what I loved about that game was the chain reaction and building out my tableau and moving things every turn, having a little bit more work, a little bit more reward every round. And I loved pushing around those cubes. I loved tapping the cards. I loved doing all of that because it gave me a physical representation of what was happening in the story of this game. It immersed me immediately. It put me there. So I really, really like fiddliness. I have been looking for fiddly games ever since. So I don't always, I don't understand why this is always used as a criticism for a game. When people say, oh, it's too fiddly, they make it out to be like work. To me, it's play. Lately, I've gotten into First Martians here. Uh, I am loving this game, and one of the things that I love about it is when you are repairing pieces of your ship, you will actually take a part from one part of the ship, find a matching part somewhere else that is fixed, and you can repair this part with the good part, switching it out with the other one. Now, I could have done that with a card, I could have done that with some other more abstracted mechanism. But actually taking the cubes out and switching them gives me the sense that I'm actually fixing the ship. I'm taking that circuit board out and I'm installing it in another system. To me, sucks me right in, puts me in the world, and that's exactly what I'm looking for in a game like this. I want to just escape reality, immerse myself in this experience, and be there and work this world with my hands. I love fiddly games, but what do you think? Do you love fiddly games? Do you hate them? What's your favorite? What's your least favorite? Leave it in the comment down below. Like and subscribe if you have the time. Thank you so much and fiddle away, folks.